Meanwhile, fuel prices are on fire in Pakistan. For the third time in less than a month, fuel prices have been increased. This time, prices of petroleum products have been hiked by up to 59 Pakistani rupees per litre. The government in Pakistan has raised the petrol prices by more than 84 per litre in the last 20 days. It is the third such raise within the last 20 days by the coalition government led by Pakistan's Muslim League Nawaz with a rise of 24 rupees per litre. Petrol prices soared to over 233 rupees per litre. Similar raises were announced for diesel as well. The prices for which have been raised now by 59 Pakistani rupees. It will be available at 263 a litre starting today. The move effectively has abolished subsidies on petroleum products in Pakistan. While announcing the measure, the finance minister Mifta Ismail categorically stated that the government will not bear any loss on petroleum products from now on. The finance minister called the price increase inevitable to save the country from the default. He also tried to justify the move by saying that the government had no choice but to pass on the impact of international prices to consumers. I want to talk about this again. We know that it will be a problem with it. We know that it will be a problem with it. But we were forced to do it. Because the other way was the other way. We will not take this country. Inshallah, it is easy to do it. And Inshallah, you will see that we will be able to do it soon. And we will pass it easy to pass on. Just a couple of days back, the country's finance minister had warned that if the government did not abolish fuel subsidies by July, Pakistan would go bankrupt. The country is facing a deepening energy crisis. The country's fate hinges on a bailout form from the International Monetary Fund. The government is trying hard to remove hurdles in reviving the IMF program and get the next tranche of around $1 billion released. The IMF had insisted on abolishing the subsidies on petroleum products in an attempt to validate the fuel price shock. The Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has accused former Prime Minister Imran Khan for bad economic decisions and striking what he called the worst ever deal with the IMF. Sharif said that the government is left with no choice but to raise the prices due to the IMF deal that the PTI government had signed. And reacting to the development, the PTI leader Fawad Chaudhry took to Twitter, rejecting the hike in petroleum products. He wrote, and I quote, We reject this robbery in the middle of the night with all our might. Further adding that the people should take part in the protests against this incompetent government, he said. And for more details, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us this report from Islamabad. Let's listen in now. The Pakistani government has raised petroleum prices last night by 24 Pakistani rupees, making it the third increase in three weeks' time and marking the overall increase by 84 Pakistani rupees, bringing one litre of petrol to 234 Pakistani rupees. The move has been widely criticized by citizens. The citizens have also protested against the government, whereas petroleum owner, uh, petrol pump owners like these they say that this move has resulted in their business taking a direct hit. Anas Malik, Islamabad, Pakistan, for Vion, World is One. Vion, World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.